Welcome back to the cinematic cutscene tutorial series. So, last we left off, we basically opened our level up, the one that we want to work in. I'm going to use this one. You guys can work in any level you want. Uh, we also made our files, imported our audio, and made our sound cue. Now, let's get into the nit and gritty. So, to start off, uh, right up at the top, we have cinematics. And we're going to have three little options here, okay? Uh, let's start from the bottom, add matinee. This guy is the old way of doing it, which I don't suggest you guys doing because it's really, it's, it's, anyways, it's, it's not fun compared to sequence, all right? We have add master sequence and add level sequence. Uh, for right now, we're going to be doing level sequence and afterwards we can move to the master sequence. So click add level sequence it'll ask you to save your file uh personally i'm gonna go and put it over here in uh this uh this file that we made before and put it in cinematics uh, now personally i already have one here but i'm gonna call it <laughs> master 2 because i already have a second one inside you guys should just call it master if you will all right so press save i guess that's maybe not the best idea Okay, I'm going to redo that. Sorry, guys. I am sorry. So here, here, I'm going to call this Master 3, it looks like. <laughs> Just to, so I don't have any uh, issues or crashes. So once you do that, uh, you'll have this guy here, Sequencer, that will probably pop up in the middle of your screen. Uh, I just come here and dock it at the bottom next to my content browser. It just makes it easier. Um, so let's begin with explaining a few of these things. Uh, actually, before I go into that, um, if you guys have a second monitor, I highly suggest you guys have uh, a second viewport on the other one so you can see uh, what you're doing and actually have like a nice camera setup, which I'll show you guys. But if you don't, don't worry. Uh, just over here, if you hit... Uh, I think it's this guy here. If you hit layouts and just hit this two panes, it'll give you a, a second guy over here. Now mine's already in. Uh, this one will probably be in like wireframe for you guys, if I'm not mistaken. It'll kind of like, I think it'll look like that for you guys. Uh, so if it does, uh, just, just, you know, change a few of the things, click this per perspective mode. And uh, the other thing is you guys should put this into game view, which will remove all of the, um, the, uh, the game you know icons and gizmos and gadgets and whatnot. And the other thing is to hit, if I'm not mistaken, so we got game view, um, cinematic viewport is what you guys have to hit and you'll get uh, all the rest of this stuff. Okay, so once that's done, uh, a little bit more here. So we have a, our normal scrubber, just like any uh, like any video software type of deal. Uh, like anything, green means start and red means stop. Uh, a little quick little note: if you hold Control and G, so G like George, uh, you'll get a pop up for go to. And if you just put in like say 400, uh, we'll go to like the 400 mark. And then the best thing to do is then after that, once your scrubber is at the 400 mark here, uh, just hit this little guy right here, set playback and to current position, all right? And that will uh, actually get that last red one over to where your scrubber is. So wherever your scrubber is, okay, if we hit this little thing, that's where your red line is going to be. That's where the end of your frame is going to be now, right? So I'm just going to keep it up. Actually, I'm going to go to like 500 just to give us some room. All right. So control G, 500, hit this, and boom. All right. Another thing is if you hit the left mouse, you can scroll around it. And if you hold control and scroll with your mouse wheel, then you can get uh, to actually scrolling in your timeline. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it at that for t right now. 
And next one, we're actually going to go in and probably put in a camera and then move it around. Uh, I do apologize. There's a lot. Like I said, there is a lot to cover. And I really don't want you guys coming out with like a million questions and not being able to understand. I really want you guys to get this. So I'm going to really go into detail. So I do apologize if a lot of you are impatient. But uh, I, I really do believe this is the best way to go about without um, really causing you guys too much pain and suffering trying to figure things out yourselves. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and uh, yeah, next episode we'll actually uh, go about moving a putting in a camera and moving it around. All right. Have a good one.